Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Late 90s PC Gaming, and today, we're talking about WCW Nitro. Yep, WCW Nitro by THQ. Unfortunately, we don't get anything on the back in terms of screenshots. This probably came in a big box, and this is kind of the jewel case that was in it. So we don't really know what it looks like, but it's wrestling. It's the 90s, so we can expect crusty 3D, and uh, yeah. Now, when it says Windows 95, it truly means Windows 9 something, because I tried to run this in XP and it didn't work, which is why we got this dark, chunky boy down here who's running Windows 98 off an SD card, and I finally got this to where I can capture it. Down here in the fire hazard, I have a Elgato that's about like $200 or something like that, or however much it was when this first came out. This is the HD60, and it does not record anything below 720p, it, or, or just won't pick up, you know, anything. And so I have this cheap, like, $10, $12 capture card, probably from China, and it picks it up just fine. I just had to, uh, you know, run some cables through the fire hazard and through this converter box into that capture card, and boom, voila! So we're going to fire it up and see what we got in store. Oh, look at that. The beautiful Windows 98. As you can see, I've already tested some games on this thing, so it does work, though it's not really powerful enough for Half-Life, but it launches. Don't get used to this. If I can use XP, I'll probably use XP. Enough talk! Let's get to some wrestling! You get an intro sequence that's straight out of the 90s and early 2000s. Uh, uh, if you know what wrestling is, then you kind of know what to expect in this opening. Giant, sweaty dudes slamming into each other, while the announcers just lose their minds. Once you get to the game, we're introduced to a crusty JPEG of Hogan. And then, you know, the game modes, which is just tournament, exhibition, and like Battle Royale, which is Royal Rumble. When you get to the roster of wrestlers, you can listen to them rant. You know, I tricked you before, I'm gonna trick you again, but this time, the torture is gonna last longer on the Hollywood Walk of Shame. So you want to step in the ring with the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. Step in the ring with the greatest technical wrestler in the history of the WCW. This is quite hilarious and very cringy, but it's kind of great at the same time. It's hard to explain, but any wrestling fans will immediately understand. Listening to some roid monkey just scream at the camera about why you should pick him is amazing. There's, there's this one guy who's... <laughs> Picture looks like something straight out of like a edgy teen's Facebook profile photo or maybe like you know, MySpace. And then even his rant is just so, so stupid. Hey, I could care less if you pick me or not. But if you want to win, there's only one move that you need, and that's a seven year itch. But as alluded in the last episode, I said that the next late 90s PC gaming was going to be. Uh, something that made, reminded me of Slim Jims. So, of course, my favorite wrestler, at least here that I could choose from, is Macho Man Randy Savage. Oh, yeah, I'm the Macho Man Randy Savage. Don't make a big mistake. Get with the madness. That's what you want to do. Oh, yeah. I love Macho Man Randy Savage, and I'm going to play as him. When you get in the game, you realize that this is straight garbage. And I think of good wrestling games. I think of games like WWF Royal Rumble, which was really an arcade thing, but it was on the Dreamcast as well. But also SmackDown vs. Raw. Man, I loved SmackDown vs. Raw. Had the PSP version and I played it all the time. Another one I grew up with was WWE Day of Reckoning 2 on the GameCube. Great game. A common theme you'll see with wrestling games is that they never really came to PC, or at least the ones that I liked growing up. Like, you know, Day of Reckoning and SmackDown vs. Raw. So I always assume that unless it's a DOS game, or something that's not licensed, there's not going to be a wrestling game on, on a computer. So when I saw this, I got a little excited, but I knew just because I watch a lot of YouTube and I, I see people talk about bad games all the time, I knew that WCW Nitro was considered pretty bad, at least in the Nintendo 64 version, because that's usually what I see content for. But I thought maybe the PC version will be different. The controls are absolutely god-awful. Like here, here's a look at them. 
Yeah, it says like, you know, DSS or left S and stuff like that, but you never really know if you're supposed to press left then S or if you're supposed to press it at the same time because I've gotten the move to trigger both ways. It's also hard to know who is going to get the move because if you both are fighting each other and trying to put in inputs, who gets the grab? Also, another bad thing about the controls is it feels like we're supposed to be a lot faster than we are. So I often feel rushed to just slam on the keys to try to get the move out, but that never happens. But even then, if I take my time, I usually can't get it out before the AI throws me across the ring, or it just doesn't work. I could be inputting the keys wrong. That's very likely. After a while with Macho Man Randy Savage, I learned what his signature move is, and I just kind of spammed it. By the way, if you hear anything in the background that sounds like gunshots, it's just the thunder. North Carolina's had a storm for like every day for the past like three weeks. It is kind of nice there's a large roster of characters though. Best part of any fighting game is its roster. This one has a lot. Or is it good? I'm cautious to say that I like this roster because, well, everyone pretty much acts the same way. Sure, a couple characters have like a couple signature moves, but in terms of movement and animation, everyone's pretty much the same, and everyone has the same stats. Doesn't matter who you're playing as, you could be playing as Mean Gene and you'd be doing the same amount of damage as Rick Rude or the Giant or anyone else. Oh yeah, Mean Gene and Rick Rude. There's hidden characters in this. There's a cheat you can enter and unlock all the characters, and there's a lot of amazing characters. Got Roddy Piper, Chris Benoit, Eddie Guerrero, who doesn't have a rant for some reason. There's a lot of characters, but they're all copy and paste. But yeah, that's WCW Nitro. Really not that great, but I don't know what I expected. Uh, I kind of knew about its legacy already, but still I was hoping that it'd magically be good because I'm looking for a good wrestling game to play on PC and I uh, don't think it exists really. <laughs> I think all the good wrestling games were just on console, which is fine. I'm not mad. Anyway, join me in the next episode where I'm not really entirely sure what I'm going to be doing. Now that I got a working Windows 98 machine, I got, you know, my possibilities are kind of endless now. With the stuff that I can play, it's no longer, will it work? Oh, it won't. Move on type scenario. So, if there's any game you'd like to see, let me know. And uh, I'm gonna um, go play something better. <laughs>